TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Hello, hello. Well, this is a holiday, so Hanukkah Sameach. Happy Hanukkah. Well, this week we'll talk about Netanyahu, right? The moments before he uh, made the coalition, how he was uh, cleaning house and um, made everyone close, working closest to him take polygraphs. And also... The UN, we uncovered a, a classified document where it shows their plans of destroying the state of Israel. But first, let's say thank you. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. Like we talked about last week uh, on the Leap of Faith, just how we started this, this mission on the Leap of Faith. We took another Leap of Faith and, and just decided to take on more families, so we did. And uh, knowing that uh, the Lord will provide, and uh, so... We, this, this week we were able to add a couple more families to our uh, delivery. And it, uh, those of you who uh, watch this often, all the time, and been with us from the beginning, could probably pick out the ones we, the new ones, because you're used to where we're going and everything from yeah. the video. But uh, if you haven't joined this part of the ministry yet, you feel like you want to, we always keep links uh, to below every, every one of our videos, to the Patreon page and to the Support Us page. Or you can just go to thegoldenreport.com and click on the Support Us page there and find any way that makes it easiest for you to send your support to help these precious families here in the state of Israel. So we thank you guys. It is a real blessing. It really is something special that we're doing here together. Believers around the world feeding the Jews here in Israel. That in itself is a witness. It's a beautiful thing. So let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. At the beginning of the week, Netanyahu stated that he is planning on making another leap with uh, Saudi Arabia by adding them to the recent list of Arab countries with the state of Israel having a peace treaty. Uh, he went on to say that this could even affect the internal Palestinian issue here. Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Well, yeah. I, first of all, I'm sure it would affect, but uh, it, I think he's trying to say in the long term it could make him calm down, but in the short term... Um, they usually, it would make them rise up, just like yeah. it did before. Just like when we did the peace treaties with Bahrain, uh, Bahrain yeah. and, and, yeah, and the UAE, and um, it, 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 it upsets them that yeah. we have peace yeah. with other people. I'll tell you something that we didn't talk about that was on the news this week, where they interviewed a Palestinian about how the, the Palestinian Arabs are the most violent Arabs in the world. And, and they, the Palestinian agreed yeah, you say 99 of Palestinians in Israel, yeah. they're criminals. Yeah, that, uh, yeah this is a Palestinian, yeah. yeah, so it was insane. Well, Itamar Ben-Gvir, you, sh uh, you should make an effort to remember this man. <laughs> the Minister of Internal Security now is trying to pass a law giving himself more control inside the Israeli security forces, including the police. I believe this is the groundwork for his plan to bring the Jews back to the Temple Mount. You know, we you have a feeling in the next few years, as long as this coalition stays together, it'll be the first one in a while that stayed in office, yeah. uh, this coalition, for four years. Uh, but I have a feeling this guy, Itamar Ben-Gvir, is a guy you need to re remember. This is a somewhat extreme right-wing uh, party leader in our, in our Knesset right now. Uh, he's doing amazing things, actually, especially bringing Jews back to the Temple Mount. Yeah. It is, uh, it is, it is so important what he's doing. A lot of the things this guy do, does and says, I don't really agree with. He's a little extreme at some points for me. Yeah, you're a little concerned when he became, uh, he had like 13. Um, 14. 14. Seats, yeah. Seats. So it's a little yeah. bit powerful and you was a little bit concerned about it. Yeah. So we'll see how he will act. But, but that, right now it looks But he's doing good things. Good. He's doing great things. He, I have a feeling he doesn't even realize how great of things he's doing, mm -hmm. even though he feels, I'm sure he feels he's, you know, yeah. he's God's gift to the country, right? Yeah. But, uh, he uh, he really is anyone who puts us back on the Temple Mount, the Jewish people back on the Temple Mount, and we're allowed to go pray there again, is okay in my book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. Hamori, a known terrorist that was in prison for seven years here in Israel, was deported to France this week. He received a hero welcome in Paris. That shows us yeah. what... Paris, French, Fran Europe. Yeah. Well, France is 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 gone with all the uh, uh, Arab immigrants. We uh, we had a, a couple that we know. Yeah. Uh, she's French. He's Israeli. She's French. And she told us also. She said, you know, when you go to as a French person, she doesn't feel like she's in France anymore. 
You know, she walks out of the house, even though she's not a very rich woman and she doesn't have very jewelry. expensive jewelry. Yeah. She still, she says, you, uh, she takes uh, all the women, she has to take off all their jewelry yeah. and everything when they walk around yeah. in the middle of the day, yeah. in the middle of the city. She's very, she's worried about her kids and grandkids being raised in France. Yeah, which, which you could destiny. understand. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it really is. Well, we've talked about it years ago when we knew those all those immigrants were they were allowing them in. We knew what was going to happen, you know, and it's just it was yeah. no surprises there. Yeah. Well, Argentina won the World Cup. This is not a sports show, you know, but this is I'm, I'm bringing this up for a reason. But nobody's talking about the heroes of the Iranian team that refused to sing their national anthem in protest of the Iranian government and the killing of women just because the hair is showing. Remember, I don't know if you remember this, but the whole team, they, they, they refused to take part of their own national anthem in protest of, uh, of what I, their government in Iran is doing. And they were, they were pretty sure that they would get asylum somewhere. But yeah. Qatar, being a friend of Iran, immediately arrested them and deported them straight to back to Iran. And Iran <laughs> said they're going to be executed. So no one's talking about these people. And I just thought, you know, that the World Cup's over, that we should remember these guys and maybe figure out someone should be someone higher up right should be pushing to try to help these these people they were doing yeah. the right thing yeah well as you said seems like netanyahu was cleaning house and being safe moments before swearing into the prime minister's office he sent all the members of the prime minister's office to go and get a polygraph they all passed that's what they say well, That's no, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The polygraph, they all passed the polygraph there, but they, but you, you can just it shows you how uh, how 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 serious he's taking it because you know he's used to in the media being attacked and everything and people making up stuff about him even, and to to try to to try to knock him off of his uh off of his seat. Yeah. So I mean, this was a this was a bold move, you know. Sometimes it could it could be, you know. Back could backfire because you could have an honest person who's really good for you, really good for you, but you could you know upset them. But at the end of the day, it's something I, I do believe he should have done, and he and he did, and it, and it came out everything was good. Yeah. Yeah. Israel has discovered a confidential document from the UN where it states very clearly the plan to help the Arabs in Israel to take Jewish land. It was a six-page plan on how they would go about doing so and repeating the importance of taking Jewish land. When the UN was con uh, confronted with this, they denied it. But, I mean, it was a clear document from them. Um, when I say Jewish land in Israel, I'll tell you something ridiculous. It's, land is, is divided up by A, B, and C. Our own land in the state of Israel, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. We're C. That's Jewish land. That's land that Jews live on, and and control. Jews control, and the Jewish police and the army and everything. We're you know it's our land. B is land. Two out of the three is land that Arabs live on. B is land that Arabs live on, but Jewish uh, uh, police still patrol and stuff. Like for example, Nazareth, where there's a lot of Arabs, and you know so they live there. But it, Israel is still the police force and everything there. So that's B. And then A is what we've already, unfortunately, given to them, given away. It's not our land anymore, no, inside Israeli. of our state of, yeah. of, the, of Israel. And uh, it, Israelis are not allowed in. It's all Arabs and controlled by Arabs and everything else. So the UN document specifically said to take over C land, which is... The you only know, land that's left for us. No. Where, where we're sitting right now is C. You know, where we're doing this, our house, yeah. our house is in C, right? So, and the UN specifically stated that the, that they're plan, help planning with the Arabs taking over C, the Israeli Jewish land. Well, we all knew what the, sta what, what the UN uh, approach and what, what they're feeling, what they're doing and how they see, yes. uh, you know, what their vision, okay? But now it, it is clearly, it's like something that we can prove yeah and this is a good thing right that yeah. happened to i us. think it's good that we I, I have a feeling it was probably the Mossad or something that uncovered this because i mean this kind of paper you know they were they kept real close tight knit on yeah. uh and i think it is a good thing because it's always good to 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 confront liars 
and and prove him as a liar, you know, so they can't lie anymore and say this is not we we're, we're we're okay with Israel. We we agree with Israel. They can't lie about that anymore because now we have document proof that they made, right? Yeah. So um so yeah, it, it, so I, it's it's in in a, in the big in the grand scheme of things it's good. It just shows how bad they really are. Yeah. In light of this classified document from the UN, the Israeli government is now meeting with the Ministry of Security and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to decide how we will deal with the UN trying to get involved in building Arab communities illegally on Jewish land. So, I don't know what Israel is going to do or what we can do, but um, but they're meeting about it, and I'm sure by next week we'll have some something come out of that, and we'll be able to give more information about it important thing that we didn't mention that this uh, classified document was made before we had the elections even oh yeah they made it even before it's not like to respond to our government that they didn't like we know they didn't like a bengvir to be yeah bengvir what you was talking but, about yeah bengvir and smotrich but no it was made even before when the left wing yeah. center well, left wing well, left wing yeah, was left wing. on on the yeah. Well, it was extreme left wing because it was good, Arabs in the government and everything yeah, else. Yeah. So the yeah, so it wasn't. That's a good point, and it's very true. The uh, you, as you said, uh, the American, the White House, and uh, the UN were very upset about our elections and how Ben Greer, this guy, got elected. Um, and so, but this document was from way before the election, so it, they can't say it. It was in response of something that they were getting ready for something yeah. or blah 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 yeah. blah. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. On Tuesday in Nazareth, a two-year-old boy was killed and his father with him. Arabs opened fire with automatic weapons in the middle of the day. This is the fifth child killed by the Arab criminal elements this year. Yeah. yeah the the Arab so criminal sad. elements. Well, back to that guy saying how 99% of Arabs in Israel are criminals. The Arab said that. You know, it's um, yeah, but then being bolder, more like I don't remember in the past, in the middle of the day in Nazareth, usually they were doing things at night, and you know, there's some safe areas, there's some less safe areas. It's always that way. In the middle of the day, the father picked up his both children from the daycare, yeah. and they just opened fire in, in his car, yeah. and he's been killed. And he's uh, two, yeah, I old. saw the interview with, with the grandfather, the father of the father. Uh, and he said something very strange and very weird. You know, he said, you know, so his son and his grandson was just was just murdered in a car, right? And he said, well, you know, I'm not. This is what he said. He said, I'm not. So, I wasn't so worried. I could care less about my son being killed because he he was dealing with uh, criminal stuff. But my grandson, that's what was his problem was, and uh, and that just goes to show you the mindset. You know, yeah. My son, God forbid. He gets into the wrong element, you know. I'd be just as heartbroken over him and his grand, my grandson, and everyone else. You know, it's, that's just not. That's just a. Uh, that's just the way they think. You know, this once they get to a certain age, that's how they send them off to be suicide bombers yeah. and stuff, right? Because yeah. they don't care about yeah. it. It's only like when they're babies, they care so they can grow them up and make the next generation yeah. of terrorists. Or you something, should hear. Right? You should hear mothers talking about their son being killed like a tr terrorist. And uh, they say, I'm proud of him. You, you know, you don't see any sorrow in their eyes. Yeah. Any Only grief, pride. Even not grief. Yeah. Yeah. Because they just scream and cry like uh, many Arabs. Yeah. They're very dramatic. But it's like they're proud of the sons being killed. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. insane. Well, near Beersheba, two Arabs were spotted by police and asked to pull over. Uh, they ran down the police officer on the side of the road and drove off. They were most likely on their way to make a terrorist attack. And the, uh, yeah. I think they caught them later, but uh, they, it took them a while. Uh, it's just uh, there's more and more. It's just like we said a couple weeks ago. We just give you a little taste of all this stuff. There's more than what we talk about that happens, right? It's just we can't say everything because that's all we do. We we open up a new YouTube channel just to report yeah, everyone, yeah, and we have yeah. to do it every day. Yeah. This week, the third witness against Netanyahu in the trials against Netanyahu has come forward and stated that the police investigators have been threatening them to give facts that will convict Netanyahu. So this is a big thing, you know. I, the Netanyahu uh, trials are on uh, once at least a week, if not every other week, in the news. But if you notice, I don't 
I don't report about it all the time. And the reason is, is because it's just a bunch of nonsense. It really is. But every once in a while, something like this comes out and it's, it's important. And I think you guys should know because that's what we do here at TGR News. We give you the news from Israel as, it, as Israelis get it so that you can have the same news as if you was living here and watching the news as an Israeli. Yeah. And this is a big deal because it's the truth is slowly, slowly unfolding and coming out that uh, the, it's just a witch hunt. And the people are trying to find uh, Netanyahu guilty and, and stop him from being prime minister or even put him in prison are making, are fabricating and making these things up and even threatening people with jail or other things if they don't lie and come up with these stories against Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, well, this last government was busy with making lies about Benjamin Netanyahu, stupid, ridiculous lies, instead of really take care of this country and make very important rules and protect us and yeah. do... You know, they well, just busy with this thing. Of, of, they were, that's right. They were only busy with Netanyahu. The whole time they were in government, like uh, Gidon Sar, he the only thing he was doing was trying to pass a law called Netanyahu because of uh, because against <laughs> Netanyahu. Netanyahu. <laughs> that's they were, the, but you can't expect anything else because it was ridiculous their campaign because their whole campaign, the, all the uh, all those coalitions that were in uh, uh, all those parties that were in that coalition. They, they, their whole campaign was just not, Bibi. just not a BB. That was, that was what they were all about. Yeah. It w doesn't matter what we're going to do. It just matters that BB's not here. Yeah. You know, you can't, you can't vote for someone, but, and that's their, that's, that's the only thing they stand yeah. for. I'm just not someone else. Yeah. Right? On Wednesday night, Netanyahu closed the election by making the coalition and started his sixth time as prime minister. Lieberman had made it that right when Bibi takes the government water, property tax and gas will rise in price. Yeah, he, he, he delayed a whole bunch of things and, and put a whole bunch of things in order so that, because he knows that one of Bibi's uh, campaign uh, promises was, uh, was all this inflation, because he said, you know, if he could, if, if the government would just put a hold on the rise of property tax, water, uh, gas, things that the government's in control of, because the government's not in control how much uh, how much uh, um, a slice of, of, of cheese or, or a slice of uh, bologna costs, and they're not in charge of how much someone else decides to rent their house for. But if you can keep these things that they're that they are in control of down, then it would help. You know, yeah. And so Lieberman knew that, being the kind of person that he is, he set a trap so that right when BB now takes office, and uh, the, it's not going to be any way, but that that has to happen. And uh, and it's gonna, and then they're gonna, and then you can just wait and hear for when it does happen. How oh, he, yeah, BB promised. BB, yeah. Now it's going up. Yeah. Well, it was a trap that you set. He's trying to minimize the damage that be, been made in his term. Because the the as Lieberman was like our was, minister of uh, yeah. of, uh, of uh, finance, finance by the way. It was like twenty yeah. percent up. The, everything went everything was skyrocketed. Up. And the he year always he was say in. that oh we're good to other if you compare us to other countries of uh, you know like us we are good. But we had we began with higher prices, much higher prices than other countries, yeah. and we went up. So yeah, yeah. it should not. <laughs> yeah. I'm upset. Yeah, of course you would be. I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah. A terrorist inmate imprisoned in Israel died from cancer. The Arabs in Israel are saying, if, if we don't give them the bodies, they will kill Jews and more terrorist, and more terrorist attacks. Oh, really? It's insane. Insane. Well, you know, it's, there's a lot of, uh, like in America, when a, someone's in prison and they die in prison, there's a prison uh, 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 um, graveyard where the prisoners stay in prison even after, they're, after they died. You know, it happens a lot. depends on the crime, right? And... Um, and they even, I don't know if you remember, but there was a Drew, an Israeli Drew uh, that was uh, kidnapped and took into Janine. And uh, the IDF told uh, the Arabs there that if you don't give him back, you know, it'll be bad for you. We talked about it. It happened a few weeks ago. So yeah. they gave him back. And then now the Arabs are trying to connect the two. Like, like a, a, an innocent person that they kidnapped is the same thing as a terrorist that killed people that was in prison. <laughs> and maybe killed him. They yeah. not only killed oh, him, but yeah, maybe even killed yeah, they, they him. Definitely We're not sure yet. Him, yeah. So yeah. So this was so it's ridiculous. But uh, Israel, uh, uh, Benny Gantz, the, who's just soon not to be, but still the uh, minister of uh, security, uh, um, he decided that uh, we're not going to give him back. So that was the right decision, for sure. But uh, 
But it's just ridiculous. That, you know, if we don't give them back this, well, you know, we get in the same thing over and over. You got anything you want to add? No. I talked too much today. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, okay. Well, once again, thank you guys for everything you do. It's such an amazing thing that we're able, through your help and through your support, to be able to help so many people here in the state of Israel. And it's a blessing to grow. So don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. And until next week. Shabbat shalom. God bless.